Hi, this is Karen Gray, Superintendent of Lincoln County School District. Today I'd like to share a serious update to let you know that we are weighing all the factors that removing the universal masking mandate might mean for our staff and our students. First, we have what we have now is universal masking. This allows for tests to stay for close contacts of a positive case, meaning that close contacts are tested at school. They can be tested at school because everyone is masked. And if found negative, we know the student does not have COVID and can stay. Close contacts that are fully vaccinated do not need to test and are allowed to stay. And that translates into more time at school. Once test to stay is not an option, the process of contact tracing may be increased. This means that anyone unvaccinated found to be within six feet of a positive case for 15 minutes or more in one day will need to quarantine at home. This is regardless of whether or not that unvaccinated person who was close contact was wearing a mask or not. That does not mean that now we have to go back to keeping kids six feet apart. I don't want anyone to be confused about that. Also, we have never stopped quarantining and isolating. There are still 10 days for isolation and quarantining with five days at home. The following five days or days six through 10, you are back at school. You must wear a mask regardless of the mask choice made by the district. Another factor to be aware of is that as of today, public transportation, including bus riding, is governed by federal laws and masks are and will be mandated for bus riders until such a time as that regulation is lifted. Masks will continue to be worn on buses beyond March 31st for school districts in particular for now. The best way to ensure a person has more time in school and is prepared no matter which way we decide regarding the mask mandate is to be up to date on COVID vaccinations. Get your shots, please. Again, individuals who are in close contact with a positive case and up to date on COVID vaccinations can stay in school instead of being quarantined. Up to date means that people 18 and older have the fully required amount of vaccines and a booster. Kids five to 17 just need to have their vaccinations. We will communicate with you again once a decision has been made. We'd like to have a decision made by Monday, March 14th, so that we can provide the community and our staff plenty of lead time as the state indoor mask mandate for school ends on March 31st. School districts are required to collaborate with local public health agencies regarding this decision, and we have been collaborating with them for the last 24 months. We will be in consultation with them before making our final decision. I hope this message helps to clarify the outcomes either way. No matter what, our job and our heart is to keep our kids in school learning. And to that end, we will make the best decision we can. Thank you, stay well, and stay safe.